Christians flip out over TikTokers' blasphemous Holy Trinity bikini. TikTok celebrity and model Addison Ray is at the center of a controversy after sharing a photo on Instagram of herself wearing the Holy Trinity bikini that many believe to be blasphemous against the Christian faith. She uploaded the image on August 2nd, but took it down soon after. In the photo, she showed only off, she showed off only the bikini top, which has father and son printed on each breast. However, the bikini panties also include Holy Spirit at the bottom. The Holy Trinity bikini is part of a collection by the clothing brand Praying. Devout, devout Christians found it to be extremely disrespectful. Christian influencer Brittany Dawn Nelson made a video where she stated, I felt sick to my stomach. Praying's Instagram account has received a lot of comments calling for the site to be shut down. Despite the backlash, the bikini is still available for sale for $100. Addison Ray, meanwhile, quietly deleted the Instagram post without addressing the outrage. I don't understand. Don't they know that this is going to like, oh, wow, we're so outraged. We have to take this down. You just made it the most famous bikini in the whole world. Like, um, you do understand that that's how this works, right? Like, no, you don't understand that? Are these people, <laughs> do they understand really the smart. Streisand effect? Uh, probably not. We, you know, we have okay. So, guys, we have. Uh, can I talk? Tell people about? The, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we have made blasphemous art about this, right? And we're not going to show it to you guys, but we. You could show I, the I safer wanna... work. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You have to subscribe to. Sure, sure. Actually, before I show the safer work version, I want to show the full bikini because right now, and also. I saw some videos. Are there are those some Christian reactions? Because I want to see that as well. So this is the full version of the bikini. Yes. Father, yes. Son, Holy Spirit. Yes. So this bikini has now, because of the thank Christians, you played yourself. Because now, because of your mm, butt hurt, this bikini, a lot of people are now buying this. A lot of people Hell are buying yeah. this. Like you made it more famous. So you are you Christians who are trying to fight blasphemy you are now responsible for splitting spreading blasphemy right by the way thank you christians because we were we were so like so many like we were waiting for a christian butthurt like you guys have been and behind. i was shocked that this is what they settled on out of all the yeah, things but, this is this can... this is what they went with that's kind of the real story here yeah like <laughs> Because like we get so much Jewish butt hurt, uh, Islamic butt hurt, Hindu butt hurt, uh, you know, A lefty butt hurt. I think the Hindus are the kings of the butt hurt. Yes. Okay. And we have been waiting. Like, what is it? What does it take? Because like Christians have seemed to be like, just like mellowed out, like completely. Like, okay, we're like we have been burning people for, you know, that um, hundreds of years. So we already got that out of our system. So mm -hmm. we don't get offended anymore. But like, apparently it takes this. This is okay. So we now found your weak spot and we have made our own blasphemous art about it. Let me actually go find it. Like I'm going to pull the email. But should we watch? Uh, is this a Christian reaction? Oh, wait, let's read the, the let's read. That's just these. a tweet. All right, that's just a tweet. Okay, so should we? Watch this one. Is this a Christian book? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Let me know if you have audio. Oh, yeah. Yes. I saw this two days ago when it first Very came quiet. Out. Literally my first response. Wait, how do I make the volume look more? I don't know if you can. I saw this two days ago when it first came out and literally my first response was I felt sick to my stomach. My spirit felt crushed. And the first thing that popped in my head was why is it always Christians? Literally why? Why is it always Christians? But then Are you serious? Are you serious? It's always Christians. What is it with religious people and thinking that they're the only victim, always the victim, only Christians? Are you serious? Like, do you know that we have an annual event about drawing Muhammad? Do we have an equivalent of it in Christianity, Susanna? Do we have an no. annual event where we make up Christian? Oh, like you guys, like you are ridiculous. This need for you to just be the victim. You guys love this. You know what? You love it. 
you got them like you were waiting mm-hmm. for this you were like why is it not always us that's actually what is going on in their head why is it not us why are they attacking other religion we are the we're supposed to be the victims and then when it happens like oh yeah it's always the christians are you serious you're like do, do you live in a cave like do you like you is she in the united states yes like you have no right to say this always the christians like the entire country is made for you christians like everything is for you your religion is the dominant religion your presidents are all christians you know your laws are based on judo christian like everything that is wrong about the country is because you guys are dominant like it's always the christians like most attacks is by the christians to non-christians when it comes to religion it's always the non-christians once some and this is this is what you're complaining about the bikini like oh my god poor christians you know what you guys like you guys deserve to be made fun of like we need more bless we need to we need to like we need more anti-christian blasphemy you know, so, okay let's watch this and i really sat on it why is it always christians why like why? it's annoying at why? this point it's frustrating like leave okay. jesus alone leave him out of it leave, leave jesus, jesus alone <laughs> <laughs> no no you weak pathetic like look at these these are the people who think that they're strong in faith you're pathetic you're weak cry babies you does you ne- you need to be the victim you just like come torture me somebody i'm a christian why is nobody like why is nobody abusing us and then you cry you, you love it they they love it they want to be the victim. well because they get you to don't cry see this kind of... huh they they get to cry victim it gives them the opportunity yeah 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 the, the, yeah inside they're just enjoying it country or this world in general slandering other religions you don't see them slandering other false you don't see them slandering other religions what world do you live in this this woman is living under a goddamn rock gods but christianity is now acceptable in our society to slander and mock jesus father son holy spirit i had a lot i wanted to say about this but then the holy spirit checked me like he always does oh my and i God. realized I didn't even know who this girl was before all this. I had never heard of her. And who's to say that that was or wasn't her idea? Because before I met Jesus, I was doing shoots just like that. I was in front of a camera wearing little to nothing just like that. And I wasn't a bad person. I was being influenced by bad things. I was being influenced and directed by the darkness. God saved me. He radically changed me from the inside out. And my life has never looked the same since. As Christians, we know why they're mocking us. We know why they mock Jesus. We know the truth. They're mocking you because you're an idiot. And one day soon, so will they. Until then, all we can do as Christians is pray for the truth to be revealed to this girl and everyone around her who is rallying such blasphemy. We cannot jump on the cancel culture train as Christians. We are called to pray, contend, and intercede on behalf of the broken. To Addison Ray, if you see this, I'm not here to cancel you. As a Christian, I'm here to pray for you, to intercede for you, and to believe that the Lord is pursuing your heart just like he pursued mine three years ago. And to everyone else on the internet, be careful who you follow because they're either leading you to Jesus or into a fallen world. Okay, you know, no, I need to go off for a second. I need to full blown go off for a second. The thing about this woman in particular is that she's a scammer. She's a scammer. She was prosecuted for scamming people in a fitness program. Oh my God, the hypocrisy. And then what she did to salvage her career as a YouTuber is a hard Christian turn. Where that's her only identity now. Because people went after her so hard for defrauding people. The hypocrisy is amazing. Like apparently the bikini is something that is darkness, but scamming people isn't. But also, um, they're like, oh, I'm not gonna cancel you. Bitch, you're the one who's spreading the blasphemy, okay? We wouldn't know about this if you guys weren't so upset about it. Like, oh, like, oh, we shouldn't cancel it. You're promoting it. You're, you are the agent of darkness. More people are now wearing this blasphemous like bikini because of you guys. You are the agent of blasphemy. You are the part, you are the, within the ranks of the um, satan's minion you're a satan's minion oh yeah actually that's one of our membership (laughs) we have more in common than we would have expected (laughs) 
<laughs> Wait, Armin, yeah. can you pull up the things I put in the you show know, the, notes to the, show? The, the, devil, the devil works in mysterious ways. He's using you Christians and your butthurt to spread his darkness, okay? You're you're basically working in his... In, <laughs> it's, not just in, it's not just God that works in mysterious ways. It's not just God that works in mysterious ways. But wait, what were you saying? In the show notes, there's two other things I wanted to show because oh, yeah. I went okay. to go check out this clothing brand's website and they have other blasphemous clothing. What is this clothing brand? Like, did, why, why are people being so based now? Like, blasphemy is becoming cool? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Wait, so this is a brand. It's just, The brand is called Praying. Can oh, you wow. make this bigger? So they, this is a tank. Oh, it doesn't really expand. Okay, this is a tank top I found on their website. And it says, I'll talk to God when I'm dead. <laughs> okay, nice. And honestly, yeah. I genuinely need this tank top. I'm like... Wait, this would look so good on me. This is up my alley. It's $55, but like, screw it. I'll do it. Like, <laughs> Wait, we have less. Uh, guys, we have blasphemous shirts, and it's not this expensive. And we have True. like funnier shirts. Like, guys, like, look at Aces Republic. Go to AcesRepublic.com. But it's not. The pink top isn't as cute as that in particular. And then, wait, can, can you pull up the top. other one? Okay. There okay. is also, they have a collection of clothing that just says God's favorite all over it. Like on these tights, mm. they have purses and hats that just say God's favorite on it, which I found mm. very amusing. Um, okay, but like these are like not even that go that interesting of, you know, a design or fonts. True. And they're so expensive. But if you go to atheistrepublic.com and then you click on, you know, if you go onto the top and click on store, Look at these great designs. Like, um, like, look, for example, this one, right? You could get it on a shirt. So it says education isn't something you can just finish. But let me see some more blasphemous ones. Hold on. Let me see. There's some. Oh, here. Oh, like, look at this one. Like, look at this shirt, right? If you click on it, right? So this shirt it has a design with a devil on it. And the design says, be more yes today, Satan, and less not today, Satan. Right? This is pretty cool, right? And it has, like, it's colorful. It's not just, like, a font. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, like, it, <laughs> this is a good one. Like, okay, this is a shirt, another one. There's so many funny designs like this. And this design says, what does it mean if the holy water sizzles when it hits your skin? Asking for a friend, right? <laughs> Guys, yeah, like go to Atheist Republic store. We have so many blasphemous shirts. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> this one. Do you, can we read? Can we read this one out? Yeah, it um, just says, "Wake up, sluts! It's time to sin." <laughs> <laughs> and look, the price for this one is like twenty five, twenty. Yeah, twenty six dollars, twenty five. Yeah, twenty six. Half of the price, and you get it, and you can like customize it to put it on a shirt. Or to put it on so many other things if you want. Like you could get it on a tank top, on a hat. Like if you click on the design that you like, you could get so many. Um, wait, look, let me see. Oh, yeah, like this one. This is, an, like, this is a cool one. This is another design. Oh, look, it comes in women's outfit as well. Prayers, because magic lamps are crazy, right? Like, so that's a good one. Oh, my God, we have such good. I forgot how great our shirts are. Guys, check out Atheist Republic store. Like, we have so many. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Gaijin American is saying, would a 33 collection bikini with the 99 names of Allah be blasphemous or render you invincible from Muslims? Wait, what? Um, would if you have a bikini collection with the 99 names of Allah, would this be blasphemous or would it effectively make you invincible from, from Muslims? Hmm. Both. Both, I would say. Because, <laughs> you know, we previously talked about a, a, bullet, a bulletproof vest made out of the names of Allah because then no one could shoot you because then they'd be shooting the name of Allah. Yeah. Um, nah. So. Oh, wait. Yeah, one more, one more, one more. I really, I really like her designs. So one more, right? Like so this one. Um, what is this? You so have to read. Yeah. Okay. So this design says, 
flush and save your kids from religion and it has a toilet bowl as a superhero on it as well right so look at this designs guys it's so good you guys should check out our store oh my god oh hey, one more one more <laughs> uh this one this one says thank you for growing my leg back god said nobody ever this is a good one too okay cool wow guys check out it. yeah yeah Sheikh B is saying, I liked the idea of India dropping Muhammad written on small pieces of paper during war. That was another idea that you had. Oh, yeah. That was my, I have such good ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because then they couldn't shoot those planes down if they're doing, you know, flyer dropping. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to get our blasphemous Think about art. it, guys. Uh, Susanna sent me the blasphemous art that we did in... Um, for recognition of this new, ooh, I can't show that. Jesus, that's hot. Oh my God, I'm getting, I need to, I need some time off. For... Yeah, every time I go through the art that Susanna sends me, I'm like, sheesh, okay, I need some, <laughs> I, need, I need some moment alone. Did you send me the bikini one? Yeah. Oh, where is it? Like, It's the most recent one. Just search new art in your inbox. New art. No, I'm seeing Mother Mary. That's it. Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm so, sorry, I'm so stupid. Uh, not really, actually. I'm very smart. Um, okay. <laughs> Here, I got it. I got it, guys. Look at this art. This is the kind of art you get if you are subscribed to his newsletter. So, in to celebrate this new bikini and all the attention that we got. We have Mother Mary. Mother Mary herself is in the bikini. Look at this. It Father actually looks very house. good. It looks really good. Like we have such great artists. Look at this. This is an Atheist Republic art, by the way. So, so Mother Mary herself is wearing the bikini. Guys, we send out art like this. We make new art like this and send it out to our newsletter subscribers every week. Every week we have new art. So if you're not on our newsletter, I don't know what you're doing. Like, look at this art. How could you not be on our newsletter? Like, yes. And also to our, we have a not safe for work version of this as well, available to our patrons, where what's happening in the not safe for work version? She's like, she has like, she's she, She's showing. revealing what's underneath the bikini. Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> you can uh, sign up for the newsletter and support us via Patreon and see the Not Safe for Work in the link in the description. Um, so let's go to the next story because this is pretty funny. No, no, man, your email might have been missed. So can you resend it to armin.navabi at gmail.com? So just send that, send it to that email. So sorry if we missed your email. Sometimes we get flooded with emails and we might miss them. Right. All right. Cool. All right, let's go to the next story. What? <laughs> Dorm Novet is saying, do those crosses double as a feminine pleasure toy? That would be blasphemous. Wait. wait I've wait, definitely should... seen those. Okay. Can we add that to our list of art? That's just an art sure. idea, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Good, good, good idea. Let's do that. Let's do that as an art. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below. 